February of 2002, I was in an accident at work. Don't know how, stumbled, tripped, fell. My back broke, pinched a spinal cord. And I tried and I could not move my legs. I'm a T10 complete, which is no motor or sensory function below the injury level. The wheelchair hasn't changed that much over the past century. So this is really a new option. It's a new opportunity, a new set of opportunities for someone who's been told you had a spinal cord injury, you're never going to walk again. They don't have to be told that anymore. The Indigo is a powered exoskeleton. It's worn on the hips and the legs of someone who has a mobility impairment. We think of it as a legged Segway. Yeah. And it's basically based on posture, they lean or tilt their body within the device. If you tilt forward, basically, then walk forward. Just kind of looking for where your balance point is. The first time that I stood with the Vanderbilt exoskeleton, different emotions. There was joy. It really works. It's that natural feeling. We're taking advantage of the new sensors which have been developed for your smartphone that sense its position, its orientation, and can adjust. And so those same accelerometers and gyroscopes are in our system and give our device positional awareness as well. The most difficult part is really understanding the user's needs. In the beginning, you know, the first couple of steps, but you never forget how to walk even though I can't. And the feeling is not any different. This is just the beginning. This will not replace my wheelchair, but it gives me the opportunity, the ability, the access to get out of the chair and become a part of everyday life almost as normal as before.